Hey Legionnaires and welcome back. We're back in Middle Earth with some more Lord of the Rings uh, action in the Rise of Mordor sub mod. And we are playing as the Dwarves, the Ironborn. And, well, that's kind of more Westeros to be honest actually. But, you know, they, they, they've got iron steel, stuff like that. And we are in the mines of Moria. And we are defending against the new, well, you could say sort of newest faction, the Goblins. Uh, so we have now able, we're now able to do the Mines of Moria with the Goblin Hordes. And they are out there somewhere, boys. Not quite sure where, but they are. I sent out a small um, column of uh, Dale Cavalry and we have found them. The, they are here. And they look, they look pretty cool. They remind me of uh, Azog. It looks like we have an army of Azogs. Um, the White Orcs, but... You know, they're working with what they've got, and uh, they look pretty damn good, but they are hiding again. And uh, hopefully they appear very, very soon. I hope so. I don't want to have to send those Dale uh, cavalry back out. They look amazing to the dwarves, so I don't think we've actually seen them on the channel. And this map is annoying, though. This is the problem. I'll show you off the map, actually, first. Um, it's quite interesting. It's like... I don't know really what this bit is. This guy's... I guess it's like the outside of Moria, and then this is like what they've decided to do for Moria itself as a mine. It looks pretty, pretty ingenious. Like use the columns um, and like the tops of the towers as like the peaks of a mountain, and it, they the columns inside look very good. They look like part of Moria, and like looking down, the hall looks pretty damn good. I don't know why it's on fire, but it is. And the uh, the dwarves also also look very good. They've uh, just turn these guys around for uh, for our benefit. Um, the Erebor Axemen looking very stylish. I mean, all the dwarves have very similar armor. They are um, very regimented with their armor. Like Gondor, they all have the same matching armor. So they look excellent. So we've got lots of spears. We have axes. Classic dwarves with their axes. And then we've also got... Uh, what else have we got? We've got pikes over here. Erebor... This is, yes, this is Erebor. This is the faction of Erebor as the dwarves. And maybe they'll do more factions of dwarves. Who knows in the future? I'm trying to think what, there's the blue dwarves, the blue mountain dwarves isn't there. And there's, um, well, there's, I don't know who else there is. Um, Iron, the Iron uh, Hill uh, dwarves, I guess, as well. So these uh, are swords. These are, oh, here we go. Here we go. There's going to be a clash of infantry. Oh, gosh. He says, I'm so sorry about this map. This is a terrible, terrible. But here they come into the breach. The in they look absolutely knackered though. And here they go in, in they go. And into the choke point. This is where we're going to hold them. In Moria. Hold them here. Um, are you firing? Crossbows? Um, fire back there please. Fire at them. I mean, to be honest, you should just be on fire at will, and you definitely shouldn't be on flaming shot. Looks like they're on flaming shot almost, but they're not. Um, your hold your fire, and them hold them fire, their fire. They're just wasting ammunition. But yes, we have now got a clash of infantry. The uh, they're in. If they're going to come through this one troop point, that's a bit disappointing. But we'll see what they do. I think the, uh, the goblins do outnumber us quite significantly. Uh, they're going to try and overwhelm us with their numbers. So let's just put them in there. Sorry if it's a little bit laggy. There is a lot of goblins there and a lot of just units in this small area here. But, you know, we've got to work with what we have. Okay, so now they're going into position. Are they coming in anywhere else? No, they're not. This is our final defense over here. Um, I think. I'm trying to remember. Yes, this is our final defense. Our king. I don't know. I can't think. We'll say Thorin, even though it's not because it's the Third Age. Uh, he is here. Oh, our Dwarven King is here. This is him and the Grim Hammers. They look pretty damn awesome, these guys. And we have more pikes and spears here. I think some more elite spears, to be honest. But anyway, let's find the battle again. Um, oh, are they attacking over here now? They're attacking in two spots. Oh, so many goblins, and this map just does not favour. No, no, we're just still one. There, I think there's three entry points. Oh no, they are. They are coming in two different points now. Interesting. Um, fire at will at these guys. 
Uh, can we send more spears in, please? Because we're getting overwhelmed. So, yes, I hope you guys... I've had some requests to show off the goblins, so I, I am doing so. And, I mean, they look pretty damn good. They, they could do with some work, I still think. They could be a bit smaller. Like, the dwarves are quite small. Oh, my gosh, these dwarves are getting overwhelmed. I'm um, sending more. Send in more boys. I did not realize we we're in such dire straits here, but I, I mean it's gonna be very much a choke pointy battle So I mean it means I've got a little micro to do and I can show off more of the battle For you guys, which I guess is a bonus, but it is gonna be a bit of a slog um, I have to bear that in mind, but these guys these are some more elite spears. These guys look pretty damn good They remind, they remind me a bit of Rohan with their like green capes, but they look equally quite good I think I've got a lot of reserves over here, which might not be necessarily needed I'm going to bring these guys here um, to back up because we've got a big goblin incursion over here. Big problems. Um, let's see, what else? Is, how are those wolves doing over here? They do, seem to be doing okay. And they finally got through here as well. I'm just going to put you in just in case. So, what we, so the goblin infantry look pretty good. They, uh, I mean, they, yeah, they're pretty. They're all the goblins are all pretty basic. They're all very high chevroned as well to give them a fair chance against the dwarves. Otherwise, they'd probably break very easily. And uh, I want to make this a fairly uh, challenging battle. I know the goblins aren't high in skill, but in uh, in the films, but you know, we've gotta gotta make it interesting. But no cave trolls, unfortunately. There's no cave trolls for the goblins to use against us. But yeah, they, these guys are pretty damn good. Uh, hats off to the modders again. I still think a little bit of work, but uh, maybe they they may be doing that in the works. Who knows? But I'm like, I'm liking what uh, the progress so far. Um, I like that they've also got various different um, weapons and stuff like that. Like they they're very much just a ragtag force. Pick up whatever they have, while the dwarves are just like anything and everything. We've got some grim hammers already in. Um, which is pretty good. Um, I'm not going to commit them yet. We're doing okay. I don't think we've lost too many dwarves. We've got a lot of dwarves over it. Oh, okay. There seems to be a lot of... the ar are these archers or are these infantry? These are... I'm going to pull you back a little bit. Just so you're actually... Because they're just getting into combat ever so slightly. So, yeah. Oh my gosh. It's like the Alamo. Or something going on in here in this fight. It's like little defenses. This looks awesome. This looks an insanely cool uh, shot, really. Might take apologies while I might take some screenshots. You know, you got you got to do what you got to do. It just looks amazing. That is that is an amazing shot, to be fair. Ugh. That is. And the dwarves here, it's holding strong. I don't think I can see many dead dwarves yet. But, and there's, I mean, I can't really see much, to be honest, in, on the ground. There looks like a lot of dead uh, goblins, which is always good. Good to see dead goblins. Um, could do with seeing some more. That's not a great shot, actually, I just realised. I'm trying to get, I'm just trying to get screenshots while we're, uh, while we're playing. Got to get them thumbnails. But I mean, you can't even see all the goblins out there. They're hidden because of our defences. We decided to uh, stand our ground and uh, in here instead of outside. And um, yeah, I mean, it's a good it's a good idea, but at the same time, it's possibly not a great idea. I don't know if any of the goblin goblins are retreating yet, though. Either no, they're they're pulling through. The cheek. The cheek of it that they pull through. Oh, it's some good shooting. Good shooting, I guess. Um, shoot these guys right ahead of you. We're sending the Dalian cavalry. Oh my god, the lag is insane. They look pretty damn good to these Dalian, uh, Dalian mercenaries, and these guys are nearly dead now. I don't really want you to get involved in that whole 
Okay, they're dead. Um, send these them back. We don't really want to keep you in combat, if needs be. Erebor, Iron Guard. Oh, and we've nearly reformed the line. We've cut these guys off. This is excellent. And we start keep shooting them, though. Please, I'd like you to keep shooting. It just looks amazing with the sunset as well. Couldn't ask for any more. Apologies, just taking some screenshots. Gotta, just gotta remember this awesome battle. Oh yes, that is that is good. Uh, they're doing it again. They're pulling through again. Am I dwarves following them? They look like they are. Excellent. Right, so we're doing okay here. How are we doing over here? Oh, we're doing even better here. I'm keeping an eye on the main breach, to be honest. And they're pulling through over here. Is this the main breach? I can't remember which one's the main breach. No, no, this this is the first breach. And oh my gosh. So many um, goblins. But we seem to be doing okay. You should have plenty of shots to fire at in there. Good sir. Um... And we've got dwarves pulling away to come and help. That's okay. We can have have that. Oh my gosh. It's just so chaotic. I mean, I think we'll be okay. I think we can hold. If they don't come through that other breach in the far side as well, then we'll be okay. And looking like we've killed a lot of goblins. A lot of goblins. Not many dead dwarves. Back into position, dwarves. Reform the line. Kill what gobl... I don't know. Are there any goblins left there? Oh, there are some. Um, I'll have reserve spears here. Keep shooting down there. Uh, kill those spears, and then we'll have you as reserves. So we've got plenty of reserves. Um, I think this side might be okay. I don't think the goblins are coming through, but I'm going to keep... Certainly these two units here. This unit make Grim of Grim Hammers may need to be moved. The Grim Hammers just look definitely by far my favourite unit. They just look nasty. You did not want to be on the end of that Warhammer. That is nasty. Let's just negotiate through the through the pillars of Moria. Are they all dead? They should be all dead. I think they're all dead. How are these guys not broken? Six guys left. I mean, they are kind of goblins. They're probably just, like, dumb enough. Like, no, no retreat. I mean, horses now running around in Moria. This is very unusual, but they're used to it. We've got to have some coverage to mop up. I also have to show off the Dale, Dale uh, mercenaries as well. Got to show them off. Oh, service for Rome still, though. That's still not worked out how to get rid of that and put in some unique stuff. Oh, okay. They're starting to overwhelm us a bit here, but not too much. They're getting a bit around our flanks. I wonder whether it's time to, uh, what have we got here? We've got Erebor Axe Warriors. I might bring the pikes up. Show the pikes off. <laughs> because they're getting around our flank here and I'm not liking this. I'm seeing quite a lot of... Look at this guy. He's been teamed up by three guys. You can do it! Gerald! I don't know why you're called Gerald, but that seems like a very dwarven... Nah, it's not a dwarven name at all. But you can do it. Leave him alone. Gerald. Save yourself. Gets Why did someone go and help him? Just go and help this guy. He's taking on three, maybe four um, goblins. But he... Oh, yes, go on. Stab that guy. Yes, Gerald. That's what I like to see. That's a nice killing blow. Where are the... Oh, here come the pikes. Oh, my gosh. They come flying in. Pikes down. You start prodding them. Oh yes, here we go. That'll help. That'll be nicely. That'll be some good support. That'll help save uh, that that flank almost. Very good. Right, archers keep firing in here. I have not told you to stop firing. Let's have a volley. A volley from you. Volley.
Come on, guys. I need a volley for the viewers. Well, that's just rude. Have you even fired any ammunition off? No, apparently not. Can you not fire through that gap? Do they not like firing through that gap? I wonder. I wonder if they don't like firing through the gap. Just fire at will as well. I wonder if they don't like firing through that gap. Hmm. Interesting. Oh! They're breaking. Excellent. See, they, be, they seem happy to fire. Oh. They're getting ready into position. You gonna do it? Huh. Maybe not. Maybe they don't like. Maybe they can't fire through that gap. I'll keep an eye. I'm not seeing. I am, to be fair, I'm not seeing much firing going on. Let's keep. Let's have a look at this uh, fight then as it's going on. Oh, there's just chaos in there. It's actually chaos. It's like the front line. I need this chaos. This guy, kill this guy. Get this guy out of our lines. And you get back into our lines. You mad, you mad dwarf. Dwarves just love too much fighting. It's absolute chaos trying to keep them in line. And this, oh, Grim Hammer here in the front. Just taking names with his war hammer. Absolute. Go on, swing that hammer. No, no, that's just not going to happen, is it? Um, let's have a look at the other breaches. I think this is the was the main problem, but it's now under control. Most of the dwarves here aren't even doing much fighting. It's just like the front few. I could send more in. I might send in the uh, axes. Send in the axes. Send in the spears. Here we go. Send them in. We can route these boys. Oh, yes. I see some beheadings with spears. I'm not sure how that blood got up there, and it looks pretty awful. But I don't care. I'm in Moria. I'm fighting here. No. Oh, we just need the Balrog to appear and Chaos to completely, like... Well, that would be proper Chaos. If they can have a Balrog in here and then... That would just be impossible to kill all, all these orcs. I don't think we'd kill it. But yes, we're. This looks pretty damn cool. We're just like killing Azog after Azog. Here they come again, they say. Well, I hope they keep coming because we want to keep killing them. Um, how's the other breach in the far left? Oh. Thank you, Matt. Okay, yeah, there's a lot queuing outside. We can deal with these guys. Lovely. Oh, I saw some shots there. I mean, they look like they're just sending their archers in to uh, to die. <laughs> Keep it up. Oh, to be fair, actually, it looks like we're... Oh, we are getting volleys now. They're finally firing some volleys. Let's send in the Grim Hammers. I'm going to bring up these axes to here. To now uh, basically take help them out. Oh, and they're now pushing forward. You push forward as well, boys. We can do it. We can take these guys on. Push them out of Moria. Don't even let them through the breach. Excellent. We're doing pretty well. Everyone's on fairly good uh, strength. We've got a lot of reserves. Um, we're going to just stay defensive here, I think. You pikes could move up. There you go. To go to there. Move to there. You might be more effective there. Keep the pikes up. Pikes up. Shields down. They remind these um, pikemen do remind me very much of uh, like they. I'm pretty sure in the in the Hobbit movies they have pikes. I could be wrong. But, I mean, these guys look just amazing. Well, they're straight out of The Hobbit. Um, and they look amazing, to be honest. God damn amazing. Pikes. Down. I don't know. I don't even know what to be said. What to say. It's just... You just need to take it all in. That is amazing. It is just... 
looks goddamn awesome. Looks awesome. I have no words. Look at all those boys back there. They look all so angry. All angry. Ready to kill. Get out of here. We don't want you in our town. That is amazing. That looks awesome. Any anyone strag any stragglers get through the Dale mercenaries to attack? No, it doesn't look like it. Looking like we're doing a lot of damage here as well. Doesn't look like the battle lines. I mean, it looks like actually the battle lines will have moved, have moved quite a lot. We've definitely pushed forward. Dwarves are definitely superior to goblins, even when um, they're highly chevroned up. We're just like crushing them right now. Excellent. We'll keep this up. Uh, any anything over here? Is it worth bringing the Grim Hammers this way? Probably. I'm certain. I'll bring the Grim Hammers over. How do we have many reserves here? Yeah, we do, really. Um, I'll bring them here, but we probably won't need them. These uh, archers are not really of any use. It's more They'll be more handy if they're going to break through, I think, and we can use them when we're retreating. But I don't even think we're going to get to that. So, what it would be... Let me know in the comments, what is your favourite faction that you've seen so far on the channel? Is it, I'm trying to remember all the ones, Rohan? Is it Dol Amroth? Is it the Goblins? Is it the Dwarves? They're certainly going to be up there for me, Is one of my favourites. Um, is it to, Gondor, I think, have we seen Gondor yet? We may not have even seen Gondor, wow. Not even showing off Gondor. Um, is it Isengard? They're the other ones I can think of. Just let me know in the comments, what is your favourite and if, is there a faction that you like to see and if it's a very as other factions that I've not shown off yet I think I haven't shown you shown off Gondor Dale is a it's an option to use um, as is uh, the Dunlingdon tribes and uh, I think that's it I think that's all the other ones I haven't shown off yet I will have to confirm that for you um, if there's any battles that you would like me to do, if it's like Gondor versus Rohan or Gondor versus Dwarves, please let me know in the comments. It really does, uh, really does help um, give me some ideas on what I can do for battles. Because if there's requests and what people want to see, then I know what videos I want to do. Whether to do more Rise of Mordor or Seven Kingdoms or plain old Rome 2. Or, well, not actually done any Attila on here, but Attila's a pretty dodgy game, so... In my eyes. Oh, that was a good beheading. They actually put his head down perfectly for him to just, like, have his head chopped off. Excellent. Keep it up, lads. Right, so what the goblins really need to be doing now is they need to be sending troops down here. And they need to be set... They also need to be sending up... Uh, I know it's the AI. I really should be doing this with a, a fellow uh, gamer. But they should really be sending archers up first. Shoot down. And then, um, and then go in with what's left. These are the swords. I don't know if we've seen these guys yet. These are, I'm pretty sure, have been added by the sub modders. Um, they look pretty damn good. They, I like the shields. Pretty basic, but you know, it looks awesome. And then the nice little sword. They're nice little sword. But you know, the dwarves aren't known for their swords. They're all about their axes, really. So I mean, uh, these guys are kind of not really. I don't know if how true these guys are to any lore. But um, they look pretty good. In the Hobbit, I think, there's, uh, well, Thorin and all his lot use mainly swords. Um, but you don't really see many swords in, like, the, when it comes to the Battle of Five Armies. Um, I could do that battle, to be fair, um, as well. That is, if you want to see that on the channel, um, that is a possibility. We have a, five, a Battle of Five Armies um, map, a modded map, same as, don't know if it's by the same person who did the Mines of Moria, but there is one on the workshop that I could use. If you want me to do that, then please let me know. But we are breaking through ever so slowly through these lines, but not quick enough, to be honest. Could we send in more? 
Go in, charge in, lads. Come on. You need to get up there with the rest of your friends. Charge in there. Well, they just don't fancy it. They don't. They don't think they're going to need it. I mean, to be fair, there's like dozen dwarves here, seem to be doing all all the work with killing everyone. I mean, I, I don't think I've seen many dwarves. Oh, there! As I speak, one goes down. No, he died. I, he had a family. An orc. An orc family. Oh, that would be not okay. That's not okay. It's a dwarf family, clearly. I'm like in, I'm watching this combat over here. I thought another one was going to go down. Oh, another one did there. Damn it. We're losing dwarves quite quickly now. Tired, tiredness is setting in. How bad are the units? Uh, 84 is the worst one. Wow. I think we're doing. We're going to be okay. Here seems to be a big problem. We may have to outflank uh, soon. Let's just send the pikes forward. Um, can we send the spears in? Send these guys in. There we go. Now they're going in. Now we'll have some movement in the lines here. Dwarves, push! Oh, it looks so amazing. Just seeing the tops of their helmets and everything. It just looks amazing. Do you know what this needs? It needs a screenshot. <laughs> Uh, I don't know if I'll use any of these as the thumbnail. You'll find out when you see the video. But uh, it looks goddamn awesome. I'm not going to lie. Just a pile of orcs now. There's just there's so much white and red on the ground. Looks awesome. Do they have anything on their shields? Oh, they do. They actually do have some engraving on their shields. Uh, so much detail is put into this mod. It is amazing. Hats off to the modders. Just like the little patterns that they do, it's just, it's amazing. Uh, I, I still like the goblins, I, I have criticised them a little bit, but I still like the goblins. They're not, they're taller than I expected, but so are the dwarves a little bit. But then I've never seen a, a dwarf from Middle Earth in real life, so what can I know? Oh, that was a good beheading. Just so much beheading going on this. Yeah, more heads dropping. I don't know if we're actually going to push through any. I don't know how many goblins there are. We've held them here. Send these boys in. We might actually push through here. Oh, this is exciting. But it's danger dangerous when we get outside. They could start uh, picking us off. And archers, you might as well push forward. Our general is very safe. For certain. I mean, we can certainly mobilize our cavalry when um, when uh, we have the chance, if we can get outside. Just look at that. Look at the uh, light bouncing off their helmets. It looks just amazing. Oh. Gorgeous. Gorgeous. Could look at the dwarves all day if I had a chance, but I definitely wouldn't look at you guys all day. You're ugly. Ugly. Orcs and goblins are. Oh, I hate the goddamn um, entrances though. They're not. They're not exciting to try and get through. But look at that. We're coming for you. If you're like back here, you're like, oh god, they're getting close now. There are so many orcs, uh, goblins ahead of me. We need a cave troll. They're coming for us. And it just, they'd be even more effective if those archers fired in the back. Hurry up, fire! I'm not paying you for to do nothing. Shoot, for God's sake. You do, you like move every time, but you don't actually fire. You just go, oh no, it's just, it's not viable, sir. I actually don't know, there's a lot of, there seem to be more goblins appearing as, as it goes on. Oh God, have they stopped fighting over here? Oh no, they're just sending more in. More goblins getting ready. Oh gosh. Uh, these are pretty weak actually, so they might have returned. These guys, but I mean... We're running, they're running out with forces over here. Just keep sending them in. Eager to go in. They're getting pretty low on the numbers over here as well. I mean, it's just no match. The dwarves are no match. They, even though it's like they outnumbered them, 
massively. Choke points against dwarves. You need a cave troll, don't you, to bounce, push through, which is a good thing about um, other Lord of Rings mods like Third Age. They have troll. They've managed to get trolls in there so they can. Uh, I'm sure the Rise of Mordor team will eventually uh, get trolls to work. I really hope so. Um, because that would also it would just give um, the evil forces a bit more of a, a chance because right now they they just got like infantry and their infantry is just no match for the uh, the goodies so it's it's kind of a bit of a shame that that they don't really have much of a chance it's nice to see evil forces winning sometimes because they did like otherwise they would the goodies wouldn't have been in such a bad position like like they were for most of the films. I like in the officers as well. They just got they're like they're not, they're, they look like grim hammers but they're not. They're just guys with just massive hammers and they got a slightly better armor. There's one here in the front just doing some fighting. He's got a big old beard. Big old bushy beard. That's a point actually. How many of the dwarves have beards? Quite a lot. Are they trying to push through? Cuz if they try that, I'm not I'm not a fan. Not a fan. They are. They're trying to push through. I think we're just cutting them down as they try and push through. They're just idiots. Idiots. Anyway, we'll leave them. Oh, the lag's st uh, slowly getting better, but I mean, it does not like it when I go over here. It's not a fan. Because, oh, yeah, there we go. So many. Well, let's go inside. Go inside, Moria. Oh, it's not really much changed here. Pikes and uh, spears and axes doing their bit, but, you know, not doing masses. I might bring over this unit of swords to support here, just in case. Grim hammers could be hand... We'll uh, put you in reserve here. They're firing or trying to fire, but... Oh, it's obscured. See, ah, so they're just obscured, so they're not actually firing. Focus fire um, here, please. See if that works. Oh, no, that didn't work either. That's pretty useless. Can we have a barrage, please? Barrage, please. Can you fire? No, you're not fancying, are you? Now I've just wasted our ability, haven't I? Gah! Useless. And they haven't decided to come through here yet. Unless they can see my forces, and they just thought, no, absolutely not. This is the sneaky way in. This looks like the way that Gandalf and the Fellowship came in. But I could probably now move these guys. And I'm tempted. I'm going to certainly move another unit. Another unit can leave. Send it over here. Follow me! To glory in Moria! Uh, okay, so I am... This is going to... Ah! Uh, the pain. Trying to find the goddamn battle. We're back here, though. Where we're, they're running out of forces nicely. And, uh... Yeah, hopefully... We can win. I mean, hopefully we can win. We're definitely going to win. Looking at the forces here that's left. Like, no, barely any uh, orcs have left. Uh, orcs are left. Any dwarves have died. And there's like, dwarves um, just seem so much superior to goblins. I've said it already, but yeah, it's just, it's, I'm um, just looks awful. Oh my God. Like here as well. Oh, they're, they're dying here now. Are you shooting? They are. They're finally shooting. They're shooting at people because there's dead people out here. Unless these are all dwarves after a massive push. No, these, there have been people being shot. Exciting stuff. Oh my gosh, though. Look at some of these dwarves. They are drenched in blood. Look at these guys. They just look so scary. That is nasty. That is a, just a nasty, nasty looking dwarf. I would not fight him. Um, thank you for, like, getting in my way. Um, entrance, uh, you know, always loved that. Get out of here. Let's get, their, let's get their view of it. I mean, this is the best I can do, unfortunately, without the entrance bugging out. But, you know, you got to live with that with modded maps. There's going to be a few little things that are problems. But he's done a good job as the modder. Oh, more dead uh, goblins. Well, I like to see. Oh, yes, yeah, nice carving through the head, through the chest there by a hammer. I'm not quite sure how you managed that. It's more of a thwack to the. Yeah, you just beheaded someone with a hammer. You've got two kills now. I've watched you. Well done, Larry. Larry, keep it up with your hammer. 
Okay, we've left Larry. Larry might have just died, actually. No, he's still alive. He's just bloodied up. There he is, all bloodied up. You can do it. I mean, just pick it. I just like, that's what I like doing in this. When it's just like trick points. You pick, no, Larry, no. You just like pick a guy and you either give him a name or you just like watch him and just see how well he does in his jewels. Here we're doing, still not doing great. We're still not doing great and I'm not really sure why. Probably just because of the massive, um, of goblins. I keep wanting to call them all. So it's going to be, that's, uh, you've probably seen it um, throughout the battle. I've been constantly wanting to call them orcs. Push forward, lads. Just keep pushing. The pikes need to keep going forward. I could send in the swords. That'd be kind of handy. Let's we'll just put them in behind. Just remind people that um, we've got reinforcements. Oh, they're breaking now. Goblin arch is breaking. That little push did a bit of work, but still not, still not really done its job. Let's check on the final uh, entrance yet. Not much movement yet, but yes, we are getting there. Just making, just make entertaining myself now while we watch this. I hope you guys are enjoying as well. If you are, please leave a like, and if you're new around here, subscribe. Um, if you want to see more Rise of Mordor content, it's excellent mod. I would recommend in uh, downloading it. You can get it on ModDB, and then the sub mod is on the Steam Workshop. It's more than uh, I'd be more than welcome as well to play battles with you guys. That's what I was trying to say, but uh, struggling. As it, it, as the battle goes on, my uh, commentary just gets worse because English just gets so much harder and there's so there's also not much to say in uh in these sort of battles this is a certainly since it's against the AI it's just a choke point and it's uh just very easy I don't want to fast forward though just in case something happens here they come though they're coming for another push that's not on let's try and let's try and push out let's try and kill these guys because these guys have uh these goblins have nearly all gone we're now outside over here Sending the Grim Hammers as well. Like, this is an evenly... Like, looking at the numbers, i say it's even matching, like, Dwarves and Goblins. But there's so, mu so much better at the uh, Dwarves that they just don't stand a chance. Let's send in the Grim Hammers. In they go! Charge! Just waving their hammers in the back there while well, I'm trying to get a good shot of it. But, you know, we're struggling. <laughs> Look at them, they're like, guys, let us through. Um, excuse me, pardon me, I'm trying to get through. And but everyone's trying to get through and kill some kill some goblins. Get some goblin kills. Um, let's see. No action over here yet, as of yet either. Looks like uh They're running out of troops very quickly though, with the goblins. They're having to send in units that are like being refreshed. Almost. Uh, we could do with some, maybe a fresh unit here. Let's just send them out. Send them out. Support. I'll send a bit more support, I think, as well. If we've got some uh, spare soldiers, but we don't. I might have to get the king's, the king's bodyguard. Yeah, he might as well come out. King's bodyguard can all come out over here, and we'll just support. Yeah, that'll do. We'll get there. Oh, thank you. You can see where it, the initial. This is like this. This is the um, definitely the smallest of the fights. And looking at like the remains, just look at all the dead. So many dead goblins. I mean, the dwarves are similar. Look very similar when dead, I think. But there's not many of dwarves. I barely see any. Lots of dead goblins, all curled up, dead. Cowards. There's definitely quite a lot. Uh, yeah, can't see many dead dwarves. It's, I know I've got glasses, um, but uh, even my eyesight, I can tell there's not many. <laughs> I'm so blind because I play so many games, probably, for you guys. That's probably probably one of the reasons, but hey, can live with it. Oh, yes, yeah, more breaking. Excellent. Finish them off. 
Let's proceed with the king's body. What is this sort of? What is this chaos? Just charging out randomly. Like, huh, huh, we've been ordered to the front. Get there quickly. Just a long trail of dwarves. That looks pretty cool, actually. Le a long trail of dwarves just getting through. And then these guys proper, oh. Proper keeping it to, uh, keeping formation. That looks excellent. Those guys look phenomenal. That looks awesome. Look at that. I am just in awe. In awe. Definitely, definitely love the uh, the spears with the dwarves. It's probably my favorite. Possibly. I don't know. It keeps chopping and changing what my favorite is. I like the Grim Hammers because they just got badass war hammer. But at the same time, these guys look just so professional and just like in column. The capes and the spears. Which is the proper spears as well. Oh! It just gets my Lord of the Rings juices going. Just gonna have to go and binge watching the films. I mean, who doesn't just binge watch the films, let's be honest though. Let's have these guys as a backup. A king in behind. When those spears arrive, I'll probably send them in. But I think. Oh my gosh, we're through. We've broken through. Are we broke? We're broken. Excellent. Right, we can start killing these guys in the rear. I knew it was happening soon, but I didn't think it would be that quick. Wow, they all chain, they all chain broke, uh, broke, uh, chain routed. I'm not sure how many more units there are in there, but look at these dwarves. You are victorious here. Now we can reclaim Moria. I mean, not that we ever really lost it. That's another battle we can do. Is the opposite way around, trying to take Moria. I might try and get a uh, scrim to get involved in that and try and retake Moria from the. Uh, from the Gauntlands. Uh, let's go there. Let's actually go like here. And let's spread you out. Uh, you guys get ready to charge in. Attack these guys. Let's let's watch as we charge in. Come on. Groom hammers. Into the rear. They're having to send archers to defend against us. They're no match. Excellent. Now we have a distraction in the rear. We can get these guys perfectly. Excellent. Oh, well, look at that breaking. That breakage. They're breaking like no man's. I don't know where I was going with that. I'm not sure what, I'm, what that saying is. But they're breaking like... Just, well, like goblins do. They're cowards. If they have a hard fight, they, were, they run away. They're scavengers, basically. Oh. These guys look amazing. I, just keep, I keep saying it. I'm just thinking it. Thinking what I say. No, saying what I think. Oh god, I'm I'm just brain brain not working. Um, guys, can you just come back? Didn't want you to go over there. Um, attack these guys. Everyone, attack these guys. Um, you shoot these guys in the back. But I'm gonna send more and more back that way. Oh, there we go. We get some proper volleys off. Let's see what's happening in the back. Oh, yeah, right in their backs. They are not gonna be liking that. There we go. Cut these guys down. Just like, this is the occasional arrow now. Apparently that's all they can afford. These, I will say, do not get archers if you're defending Moria. Or don't get many unless you against, if you're against the AI, certainly. Because they're atrocious. Shoot these guys, please. Ugh. So many dwarves now just ready to charge in. Kill them all. And I can hear a dog barking somewhere. I have my window open because it's boiling in the UK. For the first time and us Brits can't deal with a bit of warmth. So we have to open everything. Basically just be uh, just like just overheated. We just overheat too much. Just like and then complain about it. Even though that's, we complain about the cold as well. Hopefully no goblins have snuck in the far side, have they? No. Good. There we go, we're breaking them. So I don't actually know where their general is, if I've killed him or not. 
Who knows? Oh, we're cutting them down now. Cutting them down and killing them. They just go in, all of you. Kill these guys. Alright, let's check on the other breach. See how we're doing there. Oh, we're... Yeah, this is actually going to take a little longer than expected. Just go in. Um, just all of you go in. There is a spear unit through here. I'd like to look at it. Ah, yes, the spear unit. That's just so majestic. Go in, boys. Route them. I was expecting to have to use you in the last defense, but goblins are trash. They need some. Uh, they need some armored, like some really elite armored stuff. Because they've got goblin infantry at their best, and they, I'd say they're like their basic infantry. Yeah, they're trained. They need some elites. That's what they need now. They need like really armored elite goblins to f just to f just to meet up to the uh, standards of the uh, dwarves, basically. Because that's their main nemesis. They only lost a few cavalrymen as well. It's ridiculous. Just shoot these guys. Um, have we killed everyone back here? Oh yeah, there you go. There's a breaking general. Have we killed everyone here? We have. Excellent. Um, it's running down these guys. It's going to be killing these. This is the last unit. Look at them. They're like, oh, no, we shouldn't have come to Moria. We're being killed so much. But there we go, guys. That is the end of the battle. It's It's been a long one this time. I hope you enjoy it. Um, please, if you have, then leave a like and subscribe. I'm just going to watch quickly as these guys get cut down. They deserve it, you know, after all they uh, all they did to us. Shoot them, uh, dwarves, please. If you look over there, look as well, actually. Oh, no, wrong one. No, I'm trying to show off some. Look, they look really tall, and then when you zoom in, they shorten. It's quite funny. Oh, no, the dwarves. They're such evil people. Oh, yeah, it's a nice little volley in the side. Yeah, yeah. There we go. All right, we can now end the battle. A heroic victory. And we will end the battle and see the end results. So, obvi obviously, the uh, goblin's not doing very well, it would seem. Look, even like well chevroned up, still not able to get masses of kills. 21 being the highest. Their archer's doing terrible. 710. It's the best I'm seeing so far. Wow, and they barely lost any unit. 710. Jesus Christ. 591, nearly 600. They did insane, did all these dwarves. Apart from the few that, that joined late, and the few that didn't even get any because they were in dark guarding somewhere else. The other um, goblin army was only at half strength because I thought, well, that might be enough. Look at the numbers as well. It's 5,000 to 2,000. I thought that was going to be enough to deal with them. But no, they could not deal with the dwarves. So if you guys have enjoyed this battle, please leave a like and subscribe. And until next time, Papal Legionnaires, bye for now.